Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This time I want to show you how quickly you can use Rapid Adapter Builder to use new local adapter in Oracle Integration Cloud. I will very quickly went through a few steps which will describe how it is easy. Yeah. First I will describe what it is, Rapid Adapter Builder, then what are Oracle Cloud Infrastructure prerequisites to create, to use it, how to use Postman together with uh, Rapid Adapter, and then we will use Visual Studio Code to create workspace and show some Rapid Adapter tasks which are helping to build a local adapter. Then. Uh, once it is registered, you can use this local adapter the same way as all the other predefined Oracle cloud infrastructure and connectivity adapters. Rapid Adapter Builder, it's a development tool. We can tell its framework, but uh, you will see it is very easy to use and not difficult. So no complexity is needed uh, to learn some technicalities and so on. With the Rapid Adapter Builder in Oracle integration, you can build an adapter for any application that exposes RESTful APIs. Yeah? These RESTful APIs usually uh, you can describe with Open API Standard uh, or Swagger or Postman Collection. Yeah, I think also on my side, I like uh, Postman Collection when I'm testing all the APIs I need to use. Uh, with Rapid Adapter Builder, it provides all the necessary infrastructure builds for adapters for Oracle integration. An adapter build using the RAP can offer the same capabilities as Oracle provided adapter. As you can see, uh, there are no too many steps and it's very simple. You need to have working, working Postman collection or having uh, open API descriptor with endpoints. And on that one, you will import it into Visual Studio Code with extension from Oracle. On that one, you will run the task to convert POC collection into customized add adapter definition file. And after modifying that file with some authentication and authorization schemas, you can register it using VS Code extension registering action into Oracle Cloud infrastructure then your adapter will appear in Adapters Gallery. As I said, there are some prerequisites. In my case, I created order management model in Oracle Autonomous Database. And on top of that model, I exposed ORDS RESTful APIs, which are covering all the operations on top of the model. Another one prerequisite for creating uh, rapid and using Rapid Adapter Builder is to have a confidential application because your development environment needs to connect to OIC in the role of service developer and with the scope to use uh, Oracle Integration Cloud design time to register new adapter. So you have this uh, confidential application with some client ID secret and it's a client credential application which is uh, providing connectivity from Visual Studio Code to Oracle Integration Cloud Instance to deploy adapter. Another one thing is working Postman collection. Yeah, uh, As you can see in my Postman, I have collection which contains operations on top of business objects. So you can, you can build your hierarchy and this hierarchy can be reflected also within your adapter that you are choosing objects and then you are choosing methods or services on top of the objects. You can use in Postman as you are usually using some uh, Postman variables and you need to have this uh, working Postman collection and for each one operation you want to you want to use also through OIC adapter you need to save examples of responses yeah request is always there and all the headers uh yeah headers parameters for each one call 
and as well body if it is some foot method yeah and as you can see each one operation has now stored response and you can have also more responses but minimally, minimally one you can have also some error example and so on it depends what your collection is doing yeah so once you have this collection you can simply only export it into the file yeah. using export and then i'm not going to export because i already exported and then you can use it within within the flow Yeah, as I said, you need confidential application, then you need work and working Postman collection. Now we are going to use Visual Studio Code. With Visual Studio Code, there is necessity first, if you don't have, to install extension for Oracle Integration Cloud. Yeah, Rapid Adapter Builder. Yeah, it contains as well references for Quick Start, how to use it, and there is some training that within two hours you you will not only use Rapid Adapter Builder, but you will also creating Oracle Integration Cloud and as well database you are creating model so it's for two hours all this exercise end to end yeah once you have extension installed then you are only opening the folder you want to use to build the adapter yeah as it is in my workspace i can choose some folder which is empty when it is empty folder you have empty workspace yeah in the workplace, there is nothing, you have empty directory. So you are changing the directory, clicking to the icon of OIC Rapid Adapter Builder. And it is creating for you, converting the project as, uh, as workspace for Rapid Adapter Builder. Then you can open this, this uh, Explorer view, and we can do initialize the workspace. Yeah, it will create directory, so I can straight take and copy from from the file system. And collection is here. Once collection is here, you can convert Postman collection into Rapid Adapter Builder configuration. Yeah. Within that one, you can choose which business object you want to include yeah, and which methods you want, you want to include into your adapter, which APIs you are going to call and wrap into one connection. Yeah, You can also choose uh, the connection testing service on which uh, this adapter test will be done. Once it is done, you are creating and it is adding this main app JSON file into your workspace. Uh, you can also insert authentication schemes, schemas, yeah, like no authentication, basic, API key based authentication signature. So it will add for you variables which will need you then populate, and those will be used for authorization for for security and connection. There is also one more thing when I'm clicking here, Rapid Adapter Builder, as you can see, there is Publisher Profile. This one you are doing once, respectively, you are doing it once for each one environment. As there are profiles, I have now one profile, but how many instances of OIC you have and you want to deploy adapters, you will add new one profile with different name. Yeah, this one is demo. It can be development, prod, and so on. So you are creating profile with uh, connectivity details, as it is here for me, client ID, client secret, and token URL, yeah? This is for Visual Studio Code to be able, when you have the project, 
with converted Postman collection into adapter configuration that really to, to deploy and connect to IC and deploy the adapter. Yeah, I'm opening uh, the one which I already changed with target configuration. As you can see, info, I already populated all the, all the values in information about the application. And as well, as I said, uh, I'm using here base URL. variables yeah and also schemas are set up once this is done uh you can do validation yeah task grab validate once validation is correct as it is here good job your adapter definition document is valid then you can use action in the actions as it was in initialized workspace you can do a wrap register bundle. I'm clicking to that one. And as you can see, adapter application two is registered. When I'm now switching into OIC, you can see here there is a page in design adapters. And I'm refreshing the page. I can see here my Acme adaption adapter 02 appear. Yeah. Now I can create connection into designing connections. Yeah, can be. And with connection, again, you are providing only base URL, which is which is the only variable I, I left here. If there is also security, if I'm choosing one of the schemas, then you need to provide really credentials, client ID, and as well, a token page from the provider of the token. Yeah. So. I can do it. Now copying base URL from application variables. And using here only base URL. Uh, Test. And it was working Postman collection. Now we are testing. Should be correct. And test. So connection is working. We can save it. And now we can use it within the integration. Yeah. I have here one integration which already uses previous version or previous adapter. I mean, time seems my... Now we can use the connection in the existing flow, some operation, and we can choose the object, customers, orders, and which method, yeah. This is how easily you can use Rapid Adapter Builder to provide your custom RESTful APIs connection and adapter. So if you want to learn more, there is a rapid adapter builder, build your own adapter in Oracle integration. A longer video using rapid adapter builder with Oracle integration three documentation. And as well, live lab training. You can do, use your, your tenancy for and run on top of your own OIC instance. As usually, you need to refer to the latest documentation. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers. Bye-bye.